dark, but that's not where our water comes from. Our water comes from up that way. This is where the drainage tunnel dumps in. It's building very fast now. You can see the amount of water and the flow increasing just now across right there as it just pushed down a little dam. And it's building faster and faster. It flows out right here onto Grand Teton. It heads down to where we live. So it just broke through, made another little diversionary pass here. It's fun just watching how the water starts flowing faster and faster. If it comes up too fast, I'll just hop over that fence right there. That's low enough even I can get over. Maybe I should give it a chance, test out that. So you can see how much the water has come up in less than five minutes and I'm sure it's gonna get a little bit stronger here. How is that for up close and personal? Ha! It goes down and comes out. This is called the whirlpool effect. Now somehow I gotta get across there. I'm sure it won't go all the way up the street. Oh shit. Oh shit. It's getting worse. Where am I gonna go? Oh shit. Guess I'll have to walk that edge. That worked. Quite a pond. Now I gotta get the heck across here while I can because it's coming back up this road faster and faster. So here's another angle of that same corner, how it's filled in. I've had several cars now turn up and turn around. I was lucky to get past over there, and I'm headed home. They went out of their way to keep this from filling in with water, but they put a couple of one-inch steel plates out there to be able to drive over this hole. Well, guess what? The water found a way around. The trench they didn't want to fill is half full now and will be full shortly. Still more fun. Oh, look at that. Those pipes aren't doing any good there. They deserve to be underground. Hey, and there's our corner down there. Well, it's not as bad as it was at its worst before, but it's as bad as it was almost at its worst. People are still trying to go across it, but, you know, I guess if you've got a truck, six inches of water ain't gonna bother much. I did see a couple of people with small vehicles not even try.